My name is Dr. Sabine Düredjonek, and I'm responsible for the research and development department at PPU Umwelttechnik in Bayreuth. And I would like to show you today our laboratory. So we are running our own laboratory at PPU as it is very advantageous for our clients as well as for us because we try to let knowledge about the typical uh, wastewater parameters you can analyze in the lab. For example, the COD or BUD or all the components of nitrogen, for example, ammonia, nitride and nitrate as well as phosphate. So we get knowledge about the wastewater composition and we'll find uh, treatable uh, methods to clean the wastewater. Let me show you, for example, in detail the procedure to detect the COD. For that, we need a special heating device and after cooking and heating, we analyze the concentration of the BOD in PPM, for example, or PPT with a photometer. Now I would like to show you in detail how to detect the COD, for example. We use cuits in a certain range of concentration and first you have to shake it and for sure I need some gloves. And you have to add two milliliters of your sample. In that case, it's a sample from a cow stable. We analyze to find out how to treat this kind of wastewater. So I take two milliliters of the sample and add it to the cuvette. And then both the ingredients of the cubit and the sample will be shaken again. And that then I need to insert it to the heater because the uh, ingredients and components of the wastewater and the, the chemicals need to react and need to be heated for 10 minutes at 100 70 centigrades. Afterwards, of the cooling, we can analyze it at the photometer. But now we have to wait, and so I have the opportunity to show you more about the possibilities to detect in our laboratory. So the COD is still reacting, so I would like to take the chance to show you more devices for our investigations. This is, for example, a um, flask to determine the sludge amount in uh, activated sludge systems, for example. And it gives us information about the running of the operation of the systems, if the bacteria are cleaning well the wastewater. This is a so-called Imhoftrichter, and we, we use it for the effluent of clean wastewater and gives us information about the settable substances. That means the solids that are still in the wastewater after the treatment system and they should be very low, at least near zero. In the corner you will find the BOD measurement device the BOD is one of the central parameters in wastewater treatment. It um, analyzes the biological oxygen demand. That means the amount of oxygen the bacteria need to degrade the easily um, treatable organic substances in the wastewater. And in combination with the COD, which is the chemical oxygen demand, get we information about the possibility 
to treat and clean the wastewater in with a biological system. That means a high ratio of COD to BOD is uh, worth biodegradable in comparison with a low COD to BOD, for example, two to one, which means it's easily biodegradable in a biological treatment unit. The COD is still uh, reacting, so I take the chance to introduce you into the char testing procedure. We are happy that we can undertake the char test as a preliminary um, test uh, for the DAF. The DAF is the dissolved air flotation system we often use in industrial wastewater treatment. And for that, that, we need to get information about the treatability in advance. That means um, DAF can clean and treat several kinds of wastewater components. For example, for fat, oil and grease to stabilize the uh, emulsions in the wastewater formed by the fat and to remove the suspendable solids, for example, and also phosphorus. And for these processes, a lot of different reacting agents are possible. So we need to do um, tests in advance to get information about the possible type of the agent as well as the concentrations to be used. Again, I take this wastewater from the cow farmer and we do the char test in a beaker with five milliliters of the wastewater. And first of all we need a chemical that react with the, with the components in the wastewater. There are different kinds, but most of all uh, metal salts are used, and in this case I take iron chloride. It's just some milliliters to let, to let it react. For that I use a transfer pipette, it's easier to add the chemical. The char testing is divided into several steps. You have seen the first step, adding the iron chloride. And if you look in detail, you already see that little flocks already have been formed. But to increase this kind of flocculation, we need to adjust the pH value. Because, for example, iron chloride uh, needs a pH about 7 to perfectly react. So for that case I need some to add some sodium hydroxide which let the pH increase. So in this case now we measure the POD. The iron reacts acidic so the pH is too low, it's about 5.4, so I add some sodium hydroxide, the pH rises up to about 7, what we want to have. So we still need to mix it so the whole solution is well mixed. 
So, but there are still very, very little flocks. These flocks are not treatability, tre uh, treatable. So we need to let the flocks grow to bigger conglomerates. For that, we add additional polymers. So that's the third step of char testing. The polymers are organic macromolecules which let the flocks like glue, some kind of a glue, which let the flocks grow to bigger ones. And these flocks are easily removable with a dissolved air flotation system afterwards. For this step, we need to lower the mixing velocity, otherwise the bigger flocks will be disturbed and degraded. And for that, we use this polymer. And so, and very soon, the bigger flocks appear, and they are so heavy that they settle very fast to the bottom of the beaker. Now you already can see these bigger flocks and a little clear water zone above. And after settling for half an hour, we can then get an imagination about the sludge amount produced with this procedure and also the amount of the clear water and especially for the concentration of the remaining parameters we are interested in in the clear water zone. So then we can take samples from the clear water zone and analyze it for phosphorus, fats, oil, all these parameters we are interested in. So after it has been some minutes and we already can see this small clear water zone, it, it will intensify after settling time of half an hour. I already prepared a sample before. This already had settled for half an hour and you can see First we had 500 milliliters of total sample and 150, about 150 milliliters of sludge are remaining on the bottom and above its clear, the clear water zone. The color is, depends on the type of the wastewater as it is uh, sample from from cow and cattle, so it's still colored. You we ne would need other uh, treatment possibilities to remove the color, but it's not uh, very important to do this. Ah, I think the COD is ready. You possibly heard the noise before, so I open the heater, and here we go, and we take it to this photometer and measure the concentration of the COD in the probe. Oh, it's fine. It's about 74.6 milligrams per liter. That's fairly low and that gives us a hint for the cleaning procedure and I think it well performed. So I hope ya I gave you an uh, imagination of our laboratory work and if you like please send us samples of your inlet water and I'm sure we will find an appropriate solution for all your problems and in our next video if you would like 
then we will show you more about our research and development work. We also develop in this uh, laboratory about uh, specialized biocoms fiber. Thank you all and see you again. Bye bye.